Today's video is just to document a small project I did as an attention getter for a presentation I'm involved with. And uh, it's a nice example of how one or more past projects can help contribute to a project you might be working on. So uh, what we're looking at is just uh, the old tech logo and the old tech font from about the mid-1980s uh, being spun around on the scope and it's being generated by drawing in X and Y, you know, the coordinates for the logo. And uh, that's all being generated by an Arduino. So uh, let's talk about uh, the genesis of this. Uh, it's really a combination of a couple of projects that I've documented previously on the channel here. So let's see how it all came together. So the first project that inspired this uh, was one that my friend John De Cristofaro put together and documented on his, uh, his blog. There's the link to it right there and I'll put a link in the show notes where uh, he drew a Christmas tree in XY mode on an old Tektronix scope and uh, I had uh, some familiarity with this scope and John so it uh, looked like a fun project and I uh, expanded on that and ultimately built uh, you know the circuit up and did a project where I uh, displayed essentially the block letters of my call sign on a scope uh, using the same technique. And uh, I'll put a link to the video where I describe that process uh, in the show notes as well. So that was uh, the first part of the, uh, the genesis of this project. Now the second part of the genesis of this project is uh, when I did the sketch on the Arduino that uh, drew out my call sign, I used the pulse width modulator outputs of the Arduino and filtered them to generate the X and Y. And initially that created a kind of a you know flickery you know, type of a display on the XY waveform because uh, you had to filter the PWM outputs and they didn't run very fast. So I did another project where I actually uh, used um, the port capability of the Arduino to drive parallel ports directly and then um, uh, built a R2R resistor ladder DAC digital analog converter and uh, since the Arduino can drive that parallel port a whole lot faster and uh, you're essentially generating the uh, analog waveforms from the DAC with very little filtering you could update the display that much faster resulting in an XY display that is essentially flicker free so that gave me a nice fast update for drawing XY pictures so that was the second genesis of the project. So the next part of the process was to essentially give myself the XY coordinates for the first three letters of Tektronix in the this logo that was used uh, you know, back in the early 80s. Here's a 1982 catalog from Tektronix. So that process was a matter of simply drawing it out on a piece of paper. This isn't the original one I used. I think I threw that one away. I did that a while ago. But the process is drawing the, uh, the figure out and generating essentially XY coordinate pairs you know, by, for, uh, for each of you know, points along the figure and generate that table and that gets put into the code uh, as XY points that we're going to draw out with the D to A converter on two channels. So the code makes use of using uh, port registers on the Arduino that allow you to control you know, a number of ports simultaneously. So there's a couple of ports that are supported in the Arduino, uh, one 8-bit port and uh, two 6-bit ports. So we're going to use two of those as our output ports for generating X and Y. So the uh, schematic for the R2R ladder DAC for the Arduino Uno, uh, which was breadboarded in uh, this circuit here, uh, is really quite simple. Um, for the 8-bit port, we build up the R2R ladder in this fashion. And I literally built this out of you know using two resistors for the two R ports and one resistor you know for the R in between. So I got a true ratio of the two R to R. So that's kind of where the R to R name comes from. The actual values used are not super critical. I happen to have a very big pile for whatever reason of 3.9 K ohm resistors um, and 2.7 K. So I'd use 2.7 Ks on this example here but I used uh, some 3.9 Ks on the, the next version that I built. Uh, so it really is, these are the uh, pin numbers on the Arduino Uno for pins 1 through 7. That's our 8-bit port. 
and uh, I just built this up on a, uh, a proto shield. And then you basically filter it with one capacitor to make nice, you know, relatively smooth transitions from one digital word to the next. So that's the schematic for uh, the 8 bit port, and this is the schematic for the 6 bit port. And I put all this together on a uh, proto shield. And because I was building this up to use at a show, I wanted to make something that was a little bit neater and more robust than my little proto of the R2R ladder. So I put the thing together on a, uh, a proto shield. It's just a bunch of holes. You know, put the headers on there, and you can see the whole array of 3.9K resistors and uh, you know, the two filter capacitors uh, basically implementing this circuit. And this makes it really nice and convenient to uh, plug right on the board. And the wiring is so simple, I just did uh, simple point to point connections uh, between uh, the components and uh, it was very easy, even though it's a lot of resistors. You know, I was able to put this together in probably about an hour. So uh, let's uh, go see how it goes together. So we'll take a quick look at the code, and uh, and I'll either link the code in or I'll even paste it into uh, the show notes here. Uh, so uh, you know, the first part of this code here is just defining a, a couple of variables, a delay variable, and we need to tell it how many points we have uh, in the figure, those x y figures. And basically you have two arrays uh, for the X and Y coordinates uh, for the figure itself. And uh, I have got a couple of variables that I use here uh, when doing the spinning. So I just initialize those variables here. There's a couple of commands that we use to initialize uh, the ports uh, for the 8-bit port and the 6-bit port to turn them into outputs. And uh, the first thing that we do is we scan through all of the points to uh, remap them into, you know, for the in, in the case of the Y points, I've only got a six bits of vertical resolution, so I need to map um, those Y points to fit into the you know zero to sixty three mapping that I've got available uh, for the y, for uh, Y. So uh, that's going to map. I, I think I originally had created the template using a 255, 0 to 255 full scale, and I remapped them using the map feature uh, to go between 0 and 63. And, uh, and then I also then will, I scanned through the X values to get the min and max values that I use. So I, I did all of this because that way I could change the figure if I wanted to and still use the same bit of code. Uh, the other thing that I do is I, I look for the min and the max points so I can generate the midway points between uh, for X and Y. And that allows me to, later on in this loop here, um, do scaling. And I simply scale with a sine wave. And uh, we want the, the figure to kind of spin around the center. So we use the midpoint as our, our the point we're going to spin around. And then with this, uh, this little bit of code here just... Uh, scales all of the x values around that midpoint so it makes it looks like it looks like it's spinning around an axis and then uh, after we've finished you know, remapping all the points uh, for a given scale factor uh, we display those points delay a little bit and loop around at a new scale factor once I've kind of gone through essentially one half spin uh, we use a little bit of code here to flip uh, uh, the figure x and y or the, the x values end for end so that when we spin again, it looks like it's going around backwards, and then it flips again, and that's the way the, the process works. So the code's actually uh, reasonably simple. And again, I'll uh, link this in or post it in the show notes. Okay, so the last part of this is just to show how to hook it up. We essentially have uh, the little proto shield plugged onto the Arduino Uno. Uh, my 8-bit port is here, the 6-bit port is here. That gives me my X output and my Y output on the board. So uh, if we uh, hook up uh, our X and Y uh, scope probes uh, to channel 1 and channel 2 of the scope we're using, and let's get the ground hooked up there. When we look over at the scope, uh, we can see the uh, digital waveforms, and I can see the Y waveform kind of stationary and the X waveform kind of rotating back and forth. And we put this into XY mode, and we get our uh, spinning logo. And uh, that was uh, you know, the whole process of 
how this little spinning tech logo project came together and it uh, was really a combination of um, an initial idea and, and cool thing that my friend John did and turning a Christmas tree into my uh, call sign logo and then improving on that to get rid of the flicker by being able to draw faster by using ports that led to the project where I built and described an R2R ladder DAC and then uh, and that whole thing then led to uh, uh, putting this together because I could draw figures a lot faster I could make something that visually looks like it's spinning around so uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed the little journey uh, that we took in uh, building this project and uh, as an example of how one project can lead to another can lead to another and can lead to another thanks again for watching